I now request the CEO, Mr. Thiru, to speak a few words. Good evening. Good evening. Good. Evening. Good. So Kaiba 2016 was a great year. Uh, a lot of things have accomplished, especially uh, uh, as you all know, we have acquired uh, ASG Renaissance uh, towards the end of uh, December. ASG has been in, in, in Michigan for 30 years. In 1997, I myself have applied a job with ASG. I'm not kidding. I have worked with them in Chrysler. I have worked with them in the University of Michigan accounts. So going back and acquiring the same company that you applied for a job uh, about 20 years back, it's a good thing. It's a good feeling. So why we, want, why we acquired ASG? ASG had, it's, a, it's, it's been around 30 years and, and it's a well-known in Metro Detroit, well-known firm in Michigan. And uh, we, we wanted to you know, increase our you know, customer base, increase our footprint. So we have been looking for an acquisition for a long time. And this came in, we were, a, we were, a, we were a, probably a top supplier in FCA and we wanted to get into Ford and GM. We've been struggling with our sales effort to break into Ford and GM, which is a very complimenting customer with our FCA base. And ASG had those accounts. Um, there are about 17 companies where, you know, were interested, like Kaiba, and they finally narrowed down to four, and, and they finally selected us. So uh, we, went, we went ahead with, it, with, with a good message. So they were looking for, for a company which, is, which, which takes care of their customer and more importantly, their employees. Uh, because they have a brand and they have a, a good uh, name in, 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 in the community and they want to make sure that they, they, they sell the company to the right you know, entrepreneurs who's young, who can take their baton and, and take care of their customers and employees. So it's a good acquisition into, for Kaiba, and it's one of the, it's the third acquisition in our history, and it's the largest size that we have acquired so far. It's about $15 million. It brought in about 150 employees. Now Kaiba is about you know, 700 employees with close to $60 million revenue. I just want to give you a backdrop on where we are 10 years back and where we are now to give you a half a million about about two, two and a half crore revenue. Today, Kaiba's revenue is about close to 400 crore. So that's the growth that we are going through. 2006 from a two crore to a 400 crore in 2016. So the reason that I want to highlight you guys is, and that's the growth mode that we are looking at. We are very aggressive, and I want to be aggressive, I want to grow. So I'm young. I want to grow. Whoever can run with me can run for both U.S. and India. So you got you to have a motivation. You got to have, like Nikita said, you got to have a determination. You got to have a passion. And you got to love what you do. If you don't love what you do, it doesn't matter whether you're working in Kaiba or anywhere, whether you're a recruiter, submission team, or accounting, you know, payroll, HR, you have to feel that you enjoy the role that you're doing. Otherwise, you will not going to justify yourself. Forget about company, com forget about others. You can't justify yourself. So you, first you got to realize what you're doing. Is this something that you like to do? And is this something that's going to take you forward? It's going to help you, help your family, help the company that you work for. So those are the three things. So one of the key things that in 2017 that, that I'm focusing is hiring the right talent and putting through the right process. So guys, all I am telling you is, if you love what you do, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta step up. And, and the responsibility doesn't come naturally to you. You gotta step up, you gotta prove. Like John is a good singer, came, came uh, to the 2016 with 
10, 10 hires, which is a good story for India. So you got you to gotta put the effort. Sometimes effort can get you where you want. Sometimes you'll feel failed. But that doesn't stop you going forward. Right? Failure makes somebody successful. You got to learn. Because that's, the, that's, that's one of the reasons that I look for people, I talk to people. So you got to be on the constant learning curve. You got to learn. You got to have that attitude. If you know all, that's not true. Nobody knows everything. So we have three twice the volume, rec volume that we had in that we were going to have in 2017 than 2016. So we had about 324 starts last year. So I'm expecting close to 450 to 500 starts higher in 2017. So it's, it's a lot of opportunity, but the opportunity will only wait for some time. Because if you don't grab it, somebody will. 2018 is Kaiba's 20 years anniversary. So we're going to complete 20 years next year. So we will have a grand 20 year you know, anniversary theme, both in US and India. We will do a lot of PR activity. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's a great run for us where we started, like Prem said, we were started in a very, very different level. There are some people who stuck with us, who thought that this is the right thing to do. And, 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 and it's a 10 year, it's a, it's a great thing. It, it's, a, it's a honor, it's a honor to us, who somebody wants to be associated with us for 10 years, is, is a big thing. So 10 years, some, somebody is associated with a company and, 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 and that means a lot. And I am very happy and, and very honored. And, and thank you, Salvaraj. Thank you, Sridhar, Prem. Uh, you know, these are all the I call pillars. These are the pillars that happens. Right? So these are the anchors that brought some of you here. And I like to see most of you are being an anchor in 2027. Hey. So, I always tell, this is my sales pitch, right? In the last 10 years, Kaiba is growing in every metric that you can think of. Number of clients, number of employees, whether it's, in, whether it's US or India, number of offices. You know, so that's how we are doing, growing, and that's the opportunity. That's what I call opportunity. You've got you to gotta embrace that opportunity. And thank you so much. Enjoy the night, and probably you know, there is a lot of cultural events. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>